All right. So, quick housekeeping before we uh, get into the game itself. I'm not going to be playing Meeting in the Flesh anymore because of the uh, the vor in it. The uh, explicit vor content, which I should have expected when there was a warning for vor. So that one's on me, really. That was my dog. He's uh, voicing his opinion. Good for him. Now if now if you're interested in seeing me play a different uh, visual novel or a different dating simulator, leave any recommendations you might have in the comments. I'll check them out. Nothing with, well, vor, obviously, and nothing with incest or rape or anything immoral, you know. Anyway, content warnings will be in the description if you need them, and otherwise, let's get started. I forgot- I forgot about character creation, and I kinda lean back. I kinda lean back to, uh, check Tumblr on my iPod. And then I remembered I have to make a character. Now, Doorsman is really important in this game. You have to raise it to a hundred before you can finish the game. So I'd recommend tagging that if you play this yourself. Now, it's been a while since I've recorded, as evidenced by the fact that I haven't uploaded a video in, what, six months? Four months? Something like that. So I'm probably gonna be a little off right now. Also, my dog keeps making noise, and I fucking... See, I forgot to equip the spear. Which is a clear sign of me being kind of off right now, mentally. I'm probably gonna go through here and kill all the ants, which is pretty boring to watch. So I'll most likely jump around a bit. Show you where all the uh, completely mediocre loot is. And otherwise cut out the fighting bits. I hope I remember to hit record and that I'm not just talking into a microphone that isn't turned on. Oh, god damn it. It crashed. I fucking hate the Temple of Trials.
I hate the healing powder in this game. I think it's, what is it, minus two intelligence? I think it's minus two intelligence, or maybe minus one, but either way. How obnoxious. I'm not gonna use that. I'll just die. I already have to live my life as an idiot. If I have to play a game as- What were we talking about? Oh, right, I'm stupid and I don't want to be stupid in video games. So I'll just die instead. Good talk. The scorpion tails are almost worthless, but I grab them anyway. Because as we just discussed, I'm an idiot in real life. Even if I play as smart characters in video games. Here, I can show you one of my favorite additions from this game. It's these. These little arrows on the corpses. That way if you mow down a group of enemies in a pile, then you can just use little arrows and loot each corpse. Don't worry about clicking on the individual pixels real carefully. I love this game, by the way. I haven't said that yet. I really love this game. I know it's got some uh, content in it. But I do love this game. I love the companions. Soon I'll introduce you all to my ghoul husband. This game really sucks at first. If I remember correctly, I haven't played it in a while. It's very hard in the beginning, if memory serves. And just kind of miserable to slog through in the first few hours. But I do like a lot of the characters and some of the locations. This game was the only thing keeping me sane during the summers of 2014 and 2015 and 2016 too, kinda. Hmm. I love it dearly, I just wish it didn't have the racism in it. We've almost escaped the tutorial area, and the game only crashed once, so I guess that's a win. We might die to the scorpions, though. I, uh, how many are up here? I hope it's just one or two. See, I'm just thinking about character in this who uh, stutters and has a th southern accent. And I'm just not very excited about doing the voice for him, to be honest with you. 
I'm just not stoked at that idea. Gotta kill this ant though before we can do anything else. No voices until the ant is dead. Oh, there's two ants. Oh, fuck it. Mech fucking, excuse me. Okay, so now that the drama's over, we gotta talk to this guy. Greetings. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? I have some questions for you first. What would you like to know? Why do we have to fight? Oh god. The path of the Chosen One is not an easy trail to walk. You'll be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human, look him in the eyes, and know that you may have to kill him. I disagree with you. I think a peaceful solution to any problem is possible. I don't, actually, but I'm just saying that, to get more XP. You may be correct, but not in our current situation. You must defeat me to succeed in your trial. Look, I don't know all of your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other? Let's just end this now rather than- Let's just end this now rather than take that chance, okay? Hmm. I see your point. I wouldn't want to be responsible for killing you when all I was meant to do was test you. Your metal. You and your metal, both. Very well. You may pass, Chosen One. Thanks. I'll see you back in the village. And we're free, sort of, except we have things to do in the village first before we can leave. First order business. We're just gonna sit here and rest for a while, until we're all healed up. So first order business, repair the well. Don't use the well, though. Repair it. No, I hit use first, so it used the well. Wonderful. There we go. Next. Where's that guy? This guy. He trains us in melee. Chosen one, the way you use a spear, you'll be meet for the geckos in no time. I can show you a few tricks. Sure, show me. This will take a little while. I guess I have to use the, uh, healing powder. Oh. It just lowers perception. That's fine. Annoying, but fine, I guess. Maybe it lowers intelligence in New Vegas? I could've sworn it did. Crashed again. Fourth time's the charm. Okay, great. So, we're back. Village. Well. Training. Healing. 
And now we move on to something different, but also tedious. But at least it's some- oh, no, 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 we have to do the spear first. Before anything else, we go down to the bridges, we talk to... What's his name? You'll see in a second. I just gotta hold my horses. This man... Hello, Chosen One. Off to find the Gek. Yes, but I was wondering about your spear. It looks a little different. My father taught me how to make stronger blades than most. Give me a piece of flint and I'll fix your spear, too. You'll need it in the wilderness. Where would I get some of this flint? They say your Aunt Marlis has been holding up. Um, they say your Aunt Marlis has been hoarding a piece. She's so ill-tempered, I don't think anyone's asked her. Of course, the witch will want something from you in return. Thanks. Goodbye. So that's it for part one. I'm sorry we didn't do much. I had a lot of problems here. I hope part two will be filled with less technical difficulties. And I hope I'll- I hope you'll stick around. I'm sorry about this. As always, thank you for watching, and good night.